Thevenin's theorem. Question: Find V O using Thevenin's theorem. Here we have to find the value of this V O by using Thevenin's theorem. Solution: In case of Thevenin's theorem, first of all we have to find the value of R T H and V T H. That is Thevenin's voltage V T H and Thevenin's resistance R T H. So this is R T H, and this is V T H, and this will be our load resistor R L. This is load resistor R L. This is load current I L. Now I L is equal to V T H upon R T H plus R L. This is a Thevenin's equivalent circuit. Thevenin's equivalent circuit so our first step will be to find rth so step number 1 to find rth and here we can see rl the value of rl is 5 ohm we know the value of rl it is 5 ohm now to find rth what we do turn off first remove rl remove rl and turn off all independent sources now here in this circuit the value of rl is this and here let's say first this is terminal a and this is terminal b now we will turn off this voltage source now when we turn off the voltage source that time it get replaced by its internal resistance that means it get short circuited so this will be our rth resistance between terminal a and b will be rth now rth is equal to 3 ohm parallel with 7 ohm 3 ohm parallel with 7 ohm so this will be 3 into 7 divided by 3 plus 7 so this is rth 3 into 7 divided by 3 plus 7 so it is 2.1 2.1 ohm this is the value of rth now next we have to find the value of vth so to find vth again we will remove remove rl and voc is equal to vth that is first we will remove this rl and let's say this is terminal a and this is terminal b and this is our open circuit voltage voc now we will find the value of this voc so first of all let's say this is current i now the voltage across this 7 ohm is voc so we have to find the voltage across this 7 ohm that will be our voc and that will be our thevenin's voltage so first we have to find the value of current i according to ohm's law i is equal to v by r the value of voltage is 12 volt and the value of resistance is there are two resistances connected in series 3 plus 7 so 3 plus 7 so therefore current i is equal to 12 by 10 so it will be 1.2 ampere so this is the value of current i the same current will flow through this 7 ohm now we can find the value of voc so voc is equal to current into resistance so current i multiplied by resistance is 7 ohm 
सो करंट वैल्यू इज वन पॉइंट टू मल्टीप्लाइड बाय सेवन वन पॉइंट टू मल्टीप्लाइड बाय सेवन सो इट इज एट पॉइंट फोर एट पॉइंट फोर वोल्ट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ वी ओ सी नाउ हेयर वी कैन सी वी ओ सी इज इक्वल टू वी टी एच सो देर फोर वी टी एच इज इक्वल टू एट पॉइंट फोर वोल्ट दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ थेवनिन्स इक्विवेलेंट वोल्टेज नाउ वी कैन ड्रॉ दी वी कैन ड्रॉ दिस थेवनिन इक्विवेलेंट सर्किट सो वी कैन डायरेक्टली कॉपी दिस फ्रॉम हेयर Now we will substitute the value of VTH. The value of VTH is 8.4 volt. The value of RTH is 2.1 ohm. So 2.1 ohm. This is our R I L. So I L will be VTH divided by RTH plus R L. So VTH is 8. Four divided by R T H. R T H is two point one plus R L is five. So I L is equal to eight point four divided by two point one plus five. So it is one point one point one eight three one point. 183 ampere this is the value of il but what we have to find we have to find this vo so we have to find this vo this will be positive and this will be negative so vo is equal to il into rl the value of il is 1.183 multiplied by the value of rl is 5 ohm so we have to multiply this answer by 5 so it will be 5.91 5.91 since it is a voltage so its unit will be volt so vo is equal to 5.91 volt we can also verify our answer using our simulator app here we can see we got the answer 5.915 volt so therefore our answer is correct